What I want to do today is connect our Doodle and Microsoft Excel apps so that whenever a new one-on-one -on -one meeting is booked in Doodle, a new row will be created in our selected Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Zapier is a no-code tool, making it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it. Risk free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I'll need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want my one-on-one -on -one meetings in Doodle to trigger my Microsoft Excel app, I'll need to use Doodle as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click one-on-one -on -one booked as my event and click continue. The first time we set up Doodle, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Doodle account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses bank level encryption. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. I want to set up my Excel sheet so that the time and dates of my meeting are on two separate cells. Because of this, I'll have to set up two separate format actions. To do this, I'll need to click the format button on the built-in tools section. First, I'll set up my date format. For my event, I'll click date slash time and click continue. Next, under transform, I'll click format. Once I do that, under the input screen, I should click Start At. Under To Format, I should click the format that I want to use for the date only. Then, I'll select my time zone and click Continue. Click Test and Review, and we can move on to formatting our time. Click the Format button once more and click Date Time. I'll click Format under the Transform drop down menu and select Start as my input again. This time, under To Format, I'm going to type in a custom message. I'll type capital HH, lowercase mm, and then I'll click the space bar and type a lowercase a. This will set up my time to read as hours, minutes, and will specify either AM or PM. I'll set my time zone once more, and I'll click Continue. Great! Now our Excel spreadsheet will be formatted properly when Zapier uploads our one-on-one -on -one bookings from Doodle into Excel. Let's move on to our fourth action. Type in Microsoft Excel in the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Add Row and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Microsoft Excel with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, pick the spreadsheet you want your data to appear on. I'm going to click Doodle Meetings. Next, click the worksheet you want your data to appear on. I'll click Sheet 1. After that, I'll need to fill in how I want my Doodle one-on-one -on -one bookings to appear in my Excel spreadsheet. For the meeting title, click Meeting Title. Under Name, click Participant's Name. Under Meeting Time, I'll select the output that has a time on it, and under Date, I'll select the output that has a date on it. Click Continue. Click Test and Review, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new one-on-one -on -one session is booked on Doodle, a new row will automatically be created in Microsoft Excel. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.